The one thing that I always loved about our hobby, my dear nerds, which totally isn't an obsession and we don't think about it more than we should, is the fact that we can customize things. We can make it our own. We can turn something from cheap Chinese mass-produced e-waste, which most probably will have a seagull choking on it in a landfill, to something dear to our hearts. Something that we would love and be proud of. Look at this beautiful piece of... <clears throat> well, still Chinese plastic, to be honest. The second we personalize them, they are not e-waste anymore. They are the equivalent of a warm hug. A friend that makes us smile each and every time we see him. The second we feel like they are ours, that's the moment when we actually feel happy and we feel like we have a handheld uh, similar to the ones that we had when we were children. Because heck knows I used to customize the living poop out of mine. I would put stickers on them, I would do all kinds of silly stuff. In fact, I remember distinctly that I had an OG Game Boy. I used to be that weirdo kid that had a magnifying glass and would like burn stuff on wooden benches. You know, I would burn my name, I would burn like silly stuff, I would basically draw while burning on wooden benches. And you know, all the kids thought I was super cool and not at all creepy and that's what I decide to think about that memory for the rest of my life. But because I was super into this and I thought that using sunlight through a magnifying glass to like leave an imprint was so cool, I kind of did this on my OG Game Boy as well, which melted honestly in such a satisfying way. Like. Ugh, it still worked, don't worry, like, it, it was still good, it, it still is somewhere in my hometown basement, but yeah, that thing has some battle scars, you see, no matter how stupid we were as kids, we still had that instinct where we knew that things are way more valuable to us if we customized them, so that's why I did this, look how beautiful and personal it looks now, like, this is one of a kind, and I invite you to mod it and personalize yours as well. Granted, you don't have to put Vlad Nerd on it, you can put whatever you want, but in case you do want to put the Vlad Nerd logo on it, I'm gonna appreciate that a lot and I'm gonna feel fuzzy on the inside. You know what, if you personalize yours with the designs that I'm gonna share with you, and if you join my Discord, I'm gonna give you a special SP Nerd role on my Discord. Just saying, this might be worth it, but I did a bit more than this, my dear nerd. We saw in other videos that we can take the top off and insert any picture that we basically want to personalize the lid with an image, right? Rust did it on Retro Game Corps, in fact, that's where I had this idea. But that's not all, my dear nerds, because... I also did the back. They are all just chilling there, living their best life. And together, this looks like something. And we're gonna start with the lid. I'm gonna switch to B-roll Vlad for a few of these steps, but basically doing the lid is quite simple. First and foremost, we have some rubber mother flippers here, 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 here and here. And these you have to take out with a pair of tweezers or if you have long nails, that could also work. And then you have to have, well, a fairly small Phillips head screwdriver and you will have to take out five screws. Three on the top side and two on the bottom side. And after you take off those screws, then you have to stick your nail somewhere in between these plastic seams or even here at the top where the hinge is. So you separate the plastic caps that holds this plastic lid together. And after that, you simply can separate the plastic lid. Thanks, Ambernek, for the fingerprints. What can I say? But on the other hand, what can I expect? Like there's humans assembling these things after all. You take my design or if you want to be less cool, one of your own designs, it can be whatever you want, you can put very weird stuff over there, I'm not gonna judge you. You do you, you're a very resourceful, beautiful, nerdy mother flipper, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, I'm just suggesting. <laughs> so, anyway, I will leave the designs for this 
and for the battery picture mod in the description. Even if you don't want to use them, you can use them as a size template for whatever you want to do with your Anbrenek RG35XXSP, again affectionately named Blue Boy. But after you decide on a design, you basically just plop that design on the blue paper sheet that Anbernic placed inside these transparent units. Bear in mind, if you have the transparent black, you won't have a blue sheet, you will have, I know, a gray sheet or something like this. Should I stop saying sheet? I think YouTube might get the wrong idea. Anyway, power pushing on, my dear nerds. After you do this, you just place your piece of paper, uh, sheet, you just place your piece of paper and you snap your plastic lid back onto the display and then you basically do the whole process in reverse. You, you screw your screws and then you take those little rubber mother flippers and you put them back and that's basically it. And now by this point you would have your own personalized Anbernic RG35XXSP which you can be proud of. It would be upgraded from cheap Chinese e-waste to something dear to your heart. Actually this is why I wanted a transparent SP solely because of this mod. I desperately think that we need to give these handhelds more soul otherwise it just kills nostalgia for us. If we don't make them ours, then at one point we will just get tired of them. So yeah, I'm happy to see if any of you personalizes it. Please come to my Discord and share your achievement with me, okay? I'm genuinely curious. But going back to the battery mod right now, you see here I had to get a bit creative because Anbernek, like many companies, chose to put a lot of annoying writing on the l battery lid. You know, things like 5 volt battery, blah blah blah, don't throw your battery in a fire or it will catch fire. Thank you, Anbernek. So what I did was I stole a cup from the kitchen and I put some baking soda in it. And no, my dear nerds, this is not a recipe. Patience. Everything in life is done with patience, okay? We get some baking soda and then you need to find some rubbing alcohol or some well ideally the higher alcohol concentration the better i have 99 percent pure alcohol because i occasionally change thermal paste and i do stuff like that so just mix that baking soda with a bit of ethylic alcohol or equivalent and then you take a cotton swab and you start rubbing in a circular motion where that amber neck writing was and you do this for like three minutes, but you have to be very soft with this, my dear nerd. Don't be a silly, stupid peasant like me, because I was like, Ugh, uh. and doing this, I kind of scratched the lid a bit. I don't know if you can see, but this is 100% user error here. I could have made this pristine. So do as I say, not as I do. And after you rub for like, three minutes that's what she said then just clean your lid make sure it's dry and you're ready to put your picture you put your lid back on you screw this tiny lid screw back on and you're done that's it my beautiful mushy nerd congratulations you have something that you can call yours something that is unique Something that no other nerds have. Something that low-key makes you feel cool, even though you're 30 plus or more. But among our community, you will be one of the coolest mother flippers out there. Once you meet with other retro hobbyists, they would be like, oh My god, man, how did you do that? Jesus Christ, it's amazing. This is so you. And you would be like, Oh, yeah, 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 I know. It's not that cool, but in fact you would know it is, and you would be proud of yourself, and you would be proud of me. I hope you should be proud of me. I'm the one that showed you this, and even though I stole half of the idea from Russ, you know, I'm sure Russ won't mind. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> anyway, my dear nerds, show me what you do. If you're scared of getting inside the SP, I get it. This is not for everyone. If you're comfortable playing around inside your devices, then I recommend you do this because it adds a bit of fuzzazz, a bit of personality, a bit of you 
in the handheld, you know, you get to feel as if your soul penetrates deep inside the handheld and whenever you look at it, you fall in love. The only thing that I regret with this mod is that my printer is really not the best and these tiny blood nerds over here, well, they look kind of pale. They certainly probably saw better days. They look a bit anemic, like they need vitamin C or something. But overall, I can't complain. This is, quite frankly, amazing looking, at least for me. Now, you have to use your imagination a bit. While this might be my preference to have, you know, blood nerd splattered all over the handheld, your preference might be to have something else splattered all over your handheld. So any design that you would like would work tremendously well with this. You just have to like figure out how you want to do it. When and if you do this, come to my Discord, show me what you did. I love stuff like this. I love to see how far you guys tap into that creative outlet and I want to see what you do. It would be quite cool, to be honest, and wholesome at the same time. That would be my version of a nerd hug, you know? Us feeling close like that. But anyway, my dear nerds, subscribe, don't leave yet. Subscribing makes me super happy. Vlad Nerd is still super small and each flipping subscription makes me genuinely happy. It gives me that dopamine I feel like I have, like a sense of wonderment and meaning in life. Sisyphus can, you know, continue pushing that rock and I'll continue pushing my rock. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Honestly, whenever you subscribe, it just encourages me to do way more videos for you fine, beautiful, nerdy creatures. Because you are a creature, Le let's be honest, Le look in the mirror, you're a creature, I'm a creature, we're all creatures, we're smart creatures, arguably beautiful creatures. You know, some of us might have beards, some of us might have a um, big brain. Some of us might be dazzling, that's not me, it might be you, who the heck knows, but I love each and every one of you. And if you do love me back, subscribe, that's how we get closer. That and join my Discord, if you want to. That's where I basically talk with everyone and I can't stop. And if you do want to support me directly, feel free to become a channel member or a Patreon. It doesn't really matter which one of these you choose because you will still end up on my wall of fame. And bear in mind, I show my wall of fame in each and every video. Out of 8 billion plus freaking people on this planet, and Jesus Christ, we multiply like flies, don't we? Like only 10 years ago we were 6 something billion, I think. Or 7, I think we... Well, I distinctly remember we were 6 and a half when I started counting. Oh, okay. Join my Discord, subscribe, become a channel member if you want, a Patreon if you want. Let's fight entropy together. Well, we have this, well, quite frankly, very, very finite glimpse of existence and self-awareness. We might as well spend it together. You know what I mean? You and me, you and me and all the other nerds. We should form a community. We should, well, I have a community on Discord. You should come to that community. We should grow so big that we would become a country. Us nerds need to congregate like an ant colony. Once we are at ant colony level, then we will be unstoppable. Then we will feast with prosperity and... And this is YouTube, so wholesomeness. We will feast on wholesomeness, my dear nerds, and hugs and good vibes and... Yeah, you know, like stuff like that. We will have a very prosperous Nerdania, because that's what the country will be called, Nerdania, and it will be like Valhalla, but for nerds it will be exceptional, it will be glorious. But anyway, I'm really, really going sideways with this. <laughs> See you in the next video, my dear nerds. Don't forget, I really love you very much, okay? And subscribe. And hug. Hmm? Hmm? Hug. Oh. Uh, I think I can do uh. it.